Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is the new mini treat bag thinlets tie and I wanted to, I mean, although it's a die and it's a bag, I wanted to show you um, how to put the bag together, but I also wanted to pass on a few tips to you. So I'm using the new painted blooms um, and painted petal suite that is in the catalogue, which I did have to hand. Where is it? It's gone. I have got it. Don't you just love the catalogue? Have you got your copy? That's the one I sent you right in the post. So this is the new, it's, it's kind of the painted bloom suite is what I'm calling it. So I'm using the, the paper and the stamping and then obviously the beautiful treat bag. And actually the way my office, the way I've got everything set up, I need to do the stamping first and then I'm going to have to put the bag together because the big shot and it's just complicated. So I have got here the brand new tag topper. This is the ornate tag topper. I've got a couple of bits of cardstock, one in whisper white, which is two by four inches which is ten by five centimeters and one in dazzling diamonds i'm going to punch these first same as the other tag topper punches you just push it all the way in and punch so one of those isn't that pretty how lovely is that i thought it was completely rounded at first when i placed my pre-order i was using a mobile phone to place my order because <laughs> i had nothing else because i was away because i'm that sensible Round the corners off at the bottom with the Project Life corner rounder, which I love. And then I'm going to do my bit of stamping with my new painted petal stamp set. I forgot to get the ink out. And it's lovely. It is so pretty. And there are two sheets of the stamps. Just gorgeous. I love the whimsical font change that are in that's in here and here I just love it so I'm taking the thank you and I'm taking these sort of well they're like falling petals I suppose I've got my rose red which is one of the colors that's in the background of the paper if I turn it over um, there's rose red there's pool party um, what other colors are there blackberry bliss and I'm going to stamp this off three times. I wonder if I can get a fourth. Probably not. Whoops. There we go. So that's all stamped off. And I've got another piece of Whisper White over here because I want to get the tag on. And I've taken the thank you, which is part of it, from the same set. I'm going to stamp that down. Cut that with the one and three eighths inch, one and three eighths of an inch circle punch and then if I can put a one and a quarter inch scallop one and three quarter inch scallop circle and I've helpfully brought out the tiniest little scrap of dazzling diamonds glimmer paper let's hope I can get that in oh I can oh I'm impressed with that <laughs> one of those as well mount it all up quickly while I'm jabbering away and chattering away and then I can shove everything off my desk and I'm going to cover up that smudge there look at that, you'd never know would you and then I've got over here, uh, these are the candy dots that are the Suttles collection which is where Pool Party is from I'm running out, it's going to have one there one down at the bottom they're completely plain clothes pegs. We call them clothes pegs, not clothes pins. Just saying, that's what we Brits call them, clothes pegs. Anyway, those things. <laughs> They're great. So I've got a candy dot up at the top. I'm going to offset layer all of these. So I'm going to put it like that. And I'm actually going to use um, fast fuse. Have I put it away? Oh, I did. I put it away. So I'm going to use my fast fuse and I want to stick it down there. So I'm going to run it along this side. There we go. And I want to line up the hole. So that's stuck, and then I'm going to tie a bow with my beautiful cotton trim, cotton ribbon rather. So, right, I've been learning bows. Make two bunny ears. That's what you do, make two bunny ears and fold one behind the other round and push it through. I don't know why I'm teaching anybody how to make a bow. 
the last person who should be doing those. And look, it's a bow. How cute. Right. Oh, can't even cut a bow. There we go. And then a glue dot on the back of this. And it will stick perfectly over that hole. And then this one is all ready to attach this to the bag when I make it. Okay. So I'm going to clear off my desk now, close up my ink. And the paper, now to make the bag, it's actually two pieces. The die itself comes in two parts to make the bag. Here's one part, this is what's going to be part of the bag. And here is the other part over here. Be very careful when you're taking it off your um, off the mount that it comes with because mine was welded on practically. So that's the front and one of the backs that's going to fold over. That is the other part that's going to fold over. So you need to choose carefully which way around your paper is going to be. You need a piece that is six by six for the first one, which is what this is here. And kind of what I've discovered and see look it fits absolutely perfectly what I have discovered in and it might be unique to my big shot is that if I send it through one way it cuts if I send let me try and describe this to you if I roll my die that way through it cuts beautifully down there but it doesn't like cutting those ones so I, I found that I need to actually send it through twice. So I need to put it through that way and then I need to put it through this way. Like I say, it might be unique to my big shot because I know, you know, they're, they are, they all have their little foibles. I understand that. Um, so I have got some washi tape here because I want to anchor it although I am going to be using the magnetic platform obviously I'm going to have to lift this off the magnetic platform to turn it so that is for me to keep it in place and obviously I've got my flowers going that way which means I need to have the back also going that way this one not so essential about the whole turning round thing so I'm not going to worry about sticking that down and I'm going to bring in my big shot now and if I do it sideways you'll hopefully see what I mean so when I put that on, obviously it's perfectly held in place by the magnets and the washi tape. I'm going to send this through. And when I bring it out and lift it off, I don't know how well you can see, it hasn't cut completely through there. And like I say, it, you know, it could be me, it could be my big shot. So just rotating it 90 degrees and running it back through again. And that has now all cut out. So you can see it's all cut out perfectly, whereas it wouldn't have done before. Okay, let's move that one out of the way and then I can do the other part. Obviously making sure that my flowers are the correct way up. I wonder if it is unique to my big shot because I found that with the um, Thin Lips card dies. Um, my big shot doesn't like them. I try not to take that personally much. <laughs> but no, I, it's, I think it, like I say, I think it is unique to my big shot. Oh, that's fine. So it's created the score lines. So I'm just going to gently fold those. And if you watched my video that was just before Christmas that where I made a paper bag, um, I liked the fact that the bag sort of gaped open a little bit. It's up to you if you like or dislike that. Um, this one, let me take the bits off. It kind of gapes a little bit. If you don't want it gaping, 
burnish your sides really, really, really well. So, okay. And this one here, there's another score line there. I love it. Cutting and scoring in one go. Marvellous. So I'm going to put some adhesive down here. Sticky strip snail, fuse, whatever you fancy. I've got sticky strip to hand, so I'm going to go with that. I think my, my sticky strip has decided to play now because I think it got offended I was using fast fuse so much. I'm going to put another bit there. Okay. Take off the backing there. And I have found that if I line these parts, this up to that, rather than that to this, I can follow this line down this one here. And you're lining up at the bottom. That's where you need to get the alignment. I'm concentrating so hard, I've all got, all got my tongue poking out. There we go. And then I want to have some adhesive down here. So one of them folds over, same as, exactly the same as my bag. One of them folds over more than the other, doesn't matter which. Bit of adhesive down there. This is definitely, if you're going to use paper, make a paper bag, you can definitely use stick, uh, snail for that. Lift up the last one. Fire that up. Bag made. Where's my tag? There's my tag. And isn't that pretty? I think the paper does a lot of the work. But the fact that you can make your own bespoke bags quickly through a die is just marvellous. And they are proper traditional bags, paper bags, because they've got this little section here. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you found that tip useful if your big shot is like mine. Um, anyway, I hope to speak to you soon. Bye.